Hey guys, and welcome back to another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Storytime Chess. Uh, this is basically essentially chess in a nutshell, but what's different about this one here as opposed to the one you've probably heard of is this game is all about teaching and learning the game chess. And this starts off at age three and goes all the way up to age 99. Uh, in the game, you're going to be getting your basic chess pieces and board, and then you're also going to be getting additional little tokens that can be added to your pieces. So for instance, the queen here is going to have a little standee that attaches to it. And with each of these pieces and standees, it's going to be included in this storybook, a story that explains how they work. So if you're interested in teaching your little kids chess, there will be mini games throughout the entire booklet here that explain each and every piece, how they move, how they operate, unique and bonus little, little rules that you can kind of learn the game chess. It also has two sides to the board. One side is for the more classical chess that explains the different sides of the board. And the other side is for the story mode, which shows the different characters characters and where they're placed and how they're placed and allows for basically additional movement. Uh, the game's also going to come with unique tokens and all that kind of stuff and so it kind of branches out from the game chess. <laughs> I mean basically usually I come down below and I explain how to play a game and then we come up and I review it which I'll still stick to that basic idea or structure but what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to come down I'll show you what comes in the game and how they teach you how to play the game chess give you an idea of how it flows through utilizing the story buck and then we'll come up and I'll discuss what What's unique about this one and whether or not you should pick this game up um, if you want to learn chess and how to play chess and whatnot. Um, obviously for those of you who are experienced chess players and don't have kids, this probably is not going to benefit you all that much, but you, you might be surprised. Anyway, let's go ahead and take a look down below. I'll show you the game, how it's played, and then of course I'll review it. Welcome to Storytime Chess, and in this video I'm not going to explain how to play chess because that would be extremely embarrassing and there's a ton of better people to do that. You can go on YouTube and look up pretty much anybody to explain chess to you, but I will give you the basic rundown. The game of chess provides two different colored pieces, the white and the black. You'll be positioning them based on how this board tells you to, and luckily with this game here it explains everything in high detail in this storybook here. Pawns up front, king, queen, you got your bishops, your rooks, and your knights and they're illustrated and posted there. Each piece is going to have their own standee on one side that you can attach or remove and of course the other side will have the basic plastic piece of chess and you can utilize them if you want or not. Each side is also going to have unique little tokens that will assist you in learning how to play the game and illustrate the different pieces and how they move which is very nice. The game is also going to come with bags. Uh, the bags will fit the different colored pieces, the black and the white, and of course that will be said for the same thing on the other side. This is the storybook you'll be getting in the game. Game. And I'll go ahead and just pop this over here so you guys can see what it's going to look like. You open it up, it explains the different chapters, it'll explain what you get in the game. It's going to explain how to read the book, what comes in the book, and the essentials of what you need to do in order to teach yourself or your children chess. And it explains the different story modes where it talks about the king and the queen and how they move and how you're going to position them on the storyboard, which is this board here, and explaining how they move, utilizing the tokens in unique ways, explaining the different goals, because in this book there's going to be tons of of mini games explaining what you need to do in order to achieve victory. Uh, there's multiple different players, multiple different stories, and the book continues up until the very end where you're going to learn how to play chess. And you'll have a good idea of all of the different characters and how they are moving, uh, how they're utilized. And of course, there's also an explanation in the uh, right website which will give you unique additional advanced rules. Uh, and this, of course, is Capture the King, which is basically the way to play chess. Um, another thing to note, too, is if you want, you can actually flip the board over. I'll go ahead and move all these pieces off to the side here to illustrate what the other side of the board is going to look like. This is, of course, the story mode. Shows the pieces, shows the different pieces that need to be placed, and, of course, where they go. And then the, that's obviously the white and black on one side. When you flip this board over, though, you're going to have chess. You'll have the number system on the side and the letter system on the other side, explaining what pieces go where. So whenever you say, oh, uh, pawn to H, or H6, and you can go ahead and move it just like that, or pawn to uh, e, E5, and you'll move your pieces like that. Uh, this is a, a basic board for chess. It's something you're probably used to seeing. Um, so you have that option to play with this once you have learned the rules of the game. And of course, your kids can just simply stick with the other side if they want, and they can just move up until they feel comfortable. But this is pretty much what you get in the game. It's pretty straightforward pretty simple um, and of course like I said if you want to learn how to play chess uh, there's a ton of great videos explaining that or of course you can just pick up this game this game is going to teach you how to play chess that's kind of the entire point of this so you won't even need me if you want to play chess or learn how to play chess this is it all right review it okay so let's talk about 
story time chess. This is chess in a nutshell. If you know how to play chess, if you've played chess before, you may not learn a whole lot of new information. This is going to be mainly made for kids who have never played or are learning chess, uh, parents trying to teach um, their kids, of course, as well as if you're just getting in into it, this is a, a good way as well. Um, obviously, maybe you don't want to use the standees or whatever, but it does give you that learning curve and allows you to kind of reread. Uh, rereading is going to be one of those things where <laughs> as you read, as you reread things, you'll learn them over time, be able to teach them, and thusly the best way of learning is to teach, and this basically provides that for you. Um, not only that, but all the components in the game are beautifully <laughs> crafted. They're high quality little pieces of plastic, right? They are plastic, but they are really, really nice. They feel good to touch. Um, the standees attachments to them is a nice touch or twist as well, or addition to the game, especially when you're playing with kids. Uh, yeah, kids that I had been playing the game with over the, the course of having this game. I've had it for a while because so I had to have kids to play it with me. Once they got into it and started moving the pieces around, they really enjoyed it and started learning the pieces individually, utilizing the this book. This book is the biggest aspect of the game. It's what's uh, going to be the most um, amount of content for you. There's a ton of different mini games in there. allows you to play with more than two players. And uh, there is a ton of story as well. As you go throughout the different chapters, you'll learn how the pieces move, their kind of interests and like obligations as to why they want their stuff to move. The components are tokens, which is also going to assist in allowing you to decide how your pieces move. The bags, high quality, nice big bags that fit everything in them. And of course, you have one side, which is the story mode, and then the other side, which into basic chess, it gives you the coordinates of how the chess pieces can move and how you can illustrate them. The only thing it's really actually missing is a chess timer. You can buy one on Amazon. <laughs> but overall, it's a high quality, great game that's really, really useful for teaching kids and people who don't know how to play the game, uh, the game chess. Chess is an excellent game. If you like abstract based strategy games, this is the granddaddy. This is the grand master of them all, in my opinion. The best hands down abstract game you will ever play if you want something that's extremely thinky. Now, that's very specifically because this game does require a lot of thought, a lot of coordination, and understanding what moves are available to you and your opponents, and how far ahead into the future that you can think of. And then as you get even more advanced, you'll start learning the different strategies of all the different uh, grandmasters from the time, you know, long since past, and even in today's current age. And the game does evolve over the course of centuries, and you'll start to learn uh, the different unique new twists and turns. And even as you play with computers and all that, it kind of it grows the game as well. Very, very interesting though. Uh, I highly enjoy chess. I really think this experience is going to be great for those families who want to teach their kids chess, even for teachers who want to gamify a process or want to just give kids some extra knowledge as far as being able to use critical thinking skills and being able to think in advance, utilizing short and long-term memory. It has it all. If you've played chess for a long period of time and you've been wanting to teach somebody how to play chess, here is what you need, especially, like I said, kids. This is really primarily focused on kids uh, for a variety of reasons, not just the pieces, but the story itself and how it goes into intricate detail as to how the pieces move. I uh, don't expect if you're going to be 30 years old to be busting this book open and moving the pieces and, oh, I enjoy this. And so, you, know, you will be learning the aspect of the game, but it's probably not going to be as enjoyable as it would be for a young kid. That being said, though, I rate this game highly. This is going to get my recommendation, especially because I enjoy chess and especially because it does a great job in teaching chess and it gives you a ton of great components and allows you to be able to teach the game to multiple people uh, over multiple uh, over just one board. You can have four people, even five people understand it and each practice the mini game and it just works very well as a group activity. Teachers, uh, this is something to consider picking up, especially if you do an after school game class or whatever and you're, you're in like the elementary school level. Yes, story time chess, solid game. High recommendation. Thank you guys for watching another Unfiltered Gamer board game review for the game Storytime Chess. If you're interested in the game, go ahead and push the link down below in the description. You can go and pick up this game. It won a ton of awards. So mine is probably the least val valuable award in the bunch. Um, as you can see, even on the main box, it shows you the different awards it won. And for good reason, it, it does play very well and it is a lot of fun. And of course, for those of you who just want a basic chess board, that's even an option as well. And maybe if you have kids in the future, go ahead and subscribe to the channel. Hit that subscribe button. And of course the bell notification button, like this video, comment on this video. Let me know if you play chess, what, uh, you know, what is your favorite uh, piece in chess? Mine is going to be probably, 
I'd probably say the knight, just because it has such versatility. Um, and of course, if you would be interested in teaching your kids chess, would be this be something that you'd be interested in. You can also go ahead and join us on Patreon. Support us there for a buck. It does help out. We do greatly appreciate it. Go ahead and watch our live streams every Wednesday, 6.30 p.m. PST. We'll be changing that very shortly, though, because we'll be moving to a new location, having a new set, and having larger space. Going to have a house and a pool. All right, guys, thank you so much for watching. And as always, I look forward to checkmating you next time.